All right, people. OCG got yet another ban list update. I was thinking, I was, I think I mentioned it somewhere, sometime. Maybe I thought I don't know, but I was like, like it's about time for OCG to get a new ban list. You know, we got one here in TCG recently, and Konami TCG actually stated about the time that we're gonna be getting a new ban list. They said after August, around maybe September, depending on how the meta looks like. But they actually are communicating with us. Okay, all right, so. Anyway, OCG got a new ban list. I'm going to go ahead and go over it. I'm actually recording differently than what I would usually record. Usually, I would record this with Camtasia. I would do the screen capture, but it seems to drop a lot of frames. You guys might have noticed that last time I did a uh, ban list related video and I did screen capture. I dropped a crap ton of frames and the video ended up not being the best quality, but it doesn't need to be the best quality. This, of course, it's just a ban list video. Just me talking, giving my general opinion about the list. So now I'm actually recording with OBS and doing a window capture with OBS. We drops way less frames. Uh, so hopefully the quality of this video will be fine for you guys. So let's go ahead and hop right into it and look at OCG's new July 2017 limited regulation or BIM list. All right. So it goes in effect on July 1st, which is, you know, about a couple weeks away. So newly forbidden, uh, just looks like, uh, Broad Bowl. Broad Bowl is banned. Uh, and you know what? That's understandable. I, I, I actually talked about that a lot. I probably didn't bring it up on the channel, but, uh, definitely when people ask, you know, how to hit zoo, I'm like, you pretty much, zoos are so good because they're one card exceeds. You have to hit them to the point where, despite this gimmick that they have, that they're one card exceeds, which is, of course, great, you gotta make them not even wanna be played, you know? Like, they hit Dryden, and Dryden's one of the key things, cause of course, you know, it's during the player's turn pop in fact uh can get your opponent uh but broad bull too you know uh big that detach search is literally just like i summon one card i slap one card i detach i search i just plus one you know you know so with broad bull and dragon you essentially go on plus two off which is one zoo card so as so i said it's one of the key things that they had to do with zoo is that they have to pretty much get rid of all the cards that make you want to play it. With no Dragon and no Broad Bowl, I mean, do you really want to play Zoo? You know, look at all the other XC cards. Is there really anything? What can you really do with uh, Zoo without Broad Bowl and Dragon, right? So, first I tried thinking that just banning Dragon would be enough, but no, they had to ban Broad Bowl too, because Broad Bowl is just that free plus one search. So, that in itself is just uh, nice to throw in. So, uh, that's fine. That's a fine ban, you know. Um, now, Probably rat could probably stay at two, uh, but like I said barrage, nah, nah. Because the, the thing with rat and the reason why rat stay at two is because you just go rat, put in a uh, uh, zodiac C detach, summon two more rats if rat was at three. Let's say hypothetically put rat, let rat be at three, and then that's a you know that's an XC right there. That's a one card XC, so that's an issue. So rat stay at two, but barrage, like I said, you can go barrage, pop the barrage, summon. You know, you know I can understand maybe it's because you're summoning from the deck, but you know barrage is an as bad without uh uh broad bull or um dried it you know the, that card doesn't have to be remaining banned as these two are banned it's just my opinion just my opinion all right newly limited so masterpiece Ooh, ooh, and diagram Ooh, ooh, damn they fucking ran over and kid took in true draco in the dick so uh Diagram that definitely hurts because of course that's your that's your popping that's your searchability that 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 definitely hurts. I mean we already know in TCG it's like I know it ninety hundred dollar cards definitely a great card masterpiece. Like I said uh, that's kind of like towers you know. So if OCG is willing to limit him, I mean I wouldn't be surprised if we're here in, in TCG we're like all right it's banned you know. Uh, it definitely reminds me of towers it definitely does. Uh, being unaffected by the two things that it's attributed by, but it's still affected by that last thing. Uh, but just the fact that that during either player's turn, you can go ahead and do that banish pop. It's just, it's so powerful, you know, and unlike towers, it can just kind of protect itself. You know, you go into the Toby Lightning, I could pop you, you know, before you even enter battle phase. So, yeah, it's just one of the things. So Masterpiece is definitely a powerful card. Um, and, you know, with Kaijus running around, I mean, just that one Masterpiece that definitely does heart that you only had that one freaking masterpiece and uh you could probably still do something with it you know diagrams hit so that definitely does hurt your search power so uh it seems like you're gonna have to rely more on that win uh true draco and uh the true kings and those two uh that can search for you and search the masterpiece because your consistency is definitely lower uh that stank bitch very tell snow um uh, Limited to one, that's definitely where she should be at. Whether it be TCG, OCG, that stank bit should be at one, you know. And while it's not as bad in the TCG because we limited that grass is greener, 
it's still that stank bitch, you know? Uh, even throwing in with a little bit of light swarms or inferno or whatever, that, that stank bitch can easily turn a winning situation from a, uh, to a losing situation. As soon as you see that bitch hit the graveyard, you're like, oh, it's this motherfucker. So, yeah, I could definitely understand how you feel. And uh, that stank bitch can go ahead and be banned for all I give a shit. But let me, that's definitely where she should be at. You know, we didn't hit her in the, in the, TCG, and I believe she went down to two in the last list of the LCG, but they're like, no, 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 one. All right, there you go. Those are all the limited. So let's move on to the semi -limited. We got a whole bunch of cards. Holy crap. All right. So, uh, uh, Perform a Pile Pendulum Sorcerer, um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we moved pretty much all our um, Perform a Pile related Pendulum cards out. We never even hit Sorcerer. They hit Sorcerer down to one. We never hit them, so I guess like, that's fine. Uh, Witch of the Black Forest, like I said, I believe she got an errata similar to Sam again. Um, she's slower and I haven't been using her, so okay. Uh, Skarm, that's probably one of the cards, Burning Wrist related, that you can move. You know, keep in mind, they uh, decided to hit Dante down to one and Skarm down to one. Um, and, uh, you know, Dante, like I said, it's really up to them what they want to do with him. Uh, but, you know, we had three Skarm. We went with Sir and Graf, they went with Skarm and Dante, so we kind of did different things there. Uh, and, uh, Skarm down to one, uh, going back up, I mean, that's fine, because it's fine for us to arrest the cat with the errata. Um, I guess I'm okay with that. That's a cat's still kind of powerful, but I can understand that. Uh, Bear from the Different Dimension, I don't know. In the right hand, that card could be kind of ridiculous. I, I still think that card's probably a card that still deserves to be limited to one. Uh, Card of Demise, I can't tell if that's an up or down. I think that, I want to say that's a down for... OCG? Yeah, probably a down. Thinking with True Dracos, it's probably a down. So, semi-limited. Uh, that really doesn't do too much. I mean, of course, as you know, semi-limited is kind of like that spot where it's kind of like, yeah, you know? Yeah, a lot of these cards probably go up to three. Like, Sorcerer will go up to three, Witch will go up to three, Scarf will go up to three, Cap will probably go up to three. No one else will probably go up to three. Um, so, Card of Demise going down to two. Like I said, it really didn't do anything. Uh, Preparation of Rice, I'm assuming that's going back up. So, uh, off of, um... Necro, so they'll probably put that up to three. Sacrifice. So they're giving Sacrifice back. I believe they already have triple um, Scout. And they have triple Skill Drain. So they're like, pretty much just giving Cleese all their cards back. They're like, you know what? Pendulums, at our, our, part, our state in the game, they're pretty much dead. Even if you have all them Pendulum Monsters and Clee Monsters in your extra deck, you can only summon one uh, back from your uh, into your extra deck spot. Unless you have a link monster, so I guess I'm like fuck it, who cares? But you know, sacrifice. I mean, that doesn't really have to do anything to pendulum mechanic. I can literally just summon a clue, equip it with the sacrifice, you know, and you know, you already know I'm good. So yeah, uh, dark hole to two. So uh, they now have two dark holes, one um, slumber, and no regeki. So you know, it's still the ratio still off between us and the us, but they do have three current attributes. So. Mm. Uh, Terraforming, I always thought that was a card that was going to need to get had at some point. So not only did they put Diagram down to one, but they put Terraforming down to two, you know? So, ooh, you know? Uh, it definitely seems like maybe they'll switch around because you can clearly see uh, they have Union Hanger and Dragon Reef. So I could definitely see maybe like Terraforming going down to one and Union Hanger going back up to three and Dragon Reef going back up to three. Um, so they hit Union Hanger and OCG to hit ABC. We never did, and the deck kind of just got power crept. Uh, which is not really, in my opinion, a way to keep your, your game in check is that, you know, you're releasing so powerful shit that your list to keep things in check is slower than, um, than, than, you know, the products that you're producing. But hey, you know, and Dragon Ravine, I believe we have two Dragon Ravines, so they're like, hey, all right, that's fine. Uh, Wavering Eyes, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Just the fact that matters is that you can just set your pendulum scale off pop and sit for any pendulum monster, you know? Like, Wavering Eyes is still a powerful card, you know? It's just adding more consistency to pendulums. You really don't need it. You know, we banned Wavering Eyes. They limit it to one, but they're just like, hey, pendulums are dead. And it's like, not necessarily, but hey, uh, that's OCG. They're way more liberal than us. And then they finally, finally, Solemn Strike gets hit. Like, wow. And it's actually them, not us, you know? So, of course, as we know, Solemn Strike is actually getting a reprint here in the TCG soon, I believe in a, like a special edition. So, I can understand them not hitting it here in the TCG, but the LCG, finally. I thought I thought they were just being so liberal that they're just like, eh, it's not that bad. Like, it really is. So, yes, finally, Solemn Strike is hit to two in the OCG. So, that's that's promising for us. That really is. So, 
because uh, they do have input on our actual bandwidth. So they're like, hey, we put done it too. And maybe us being really, uh, you know, conservative will be like, hey, you know, fuck that card. Strike, go down to one. And I'll be happy with that. Let's go on to the newbie unlimited. So, oh my God. <laughs> Is that BLS? Wow. If, if I said there is a world, there would be a world where BLS would be at three. BLS, Black Cluster Soldier, Envoy being at three with Chaos Soldier at three. Holy crap. Like, that... <laughs> That's when you know this game has been power crap to hell when you know then fucking be like, I don't even care. Like TCG, like, can we just keep BLS? At, like, I wasn't a big fan when Chaos Torque went to three, but they have three BLS and three Chaos Torque. I will fucking mmm. Mmm. Like, just something two of them motherfuckers can kill you. But three, like, wow. I wasn't my like said so we did that. Uh Armageddon Knight. Yes, finally. You finally took Armageddon Knight, my homie Armageddon Knight, off the freaking list. He's been on the list for a cool minute. Uh he got hit when uh Shadal's uh, Armageddon Knight, of course, sending the shit all in their effects. But the funny thing is, Armageddon Knight got hit before Mathematician, you know? And it's just like, wow. So, uh, Swirl Slime, they put him up to three, I guess, you know, DDD's power crept and definitely, uh, hurt from the changes. So, they're just like, alright, you can have your cards back. So, but I believe Kepler might still be at two. So, cause I believe Swirl Slime and Kepler were hit. So, uh, yeah. So, Kepler, I believe, is still at two. Um, Goyo Guardian with Serata, who cares? Ignister back at three. You know, Ignister's like, still a powerful card, but I said maybe with the changes, maybe they're like, fuck it, you know, uh, the Draco Slayers or whatever, no one can really, is really doing them, so I guess he can go off the list. Um, Brio, um, that's fine with his Arata. You know, he's still powerful, but, um, no one's really playing him. There's a lot of stronger, um, level six synchros and, you know, that whole one, Balance, you're still technically negging depending on what you balance, and it's only once per turn, a hard once per turn, so I can understand that. And you can only bounce your opponent's cards. And Brain Control, like I said, Brain Control hasn't been the issue. It's been Mind Control over there, because, of course, Brain Control, you can only take a monster that can be normal summoned under set. Uh, mind Control, on the other hand, you, you know, you snatch up anything that's, uh, what, face up, and it's like, oh, you can't, uh, what, tribute and attack with it? It's like, yeah, but I can still exceed with it. Or what they've been doing over there in OCG land? Link summoning with it. So I'll snatch your monster up and, you know, Link summon with it, and you're not getting that shit back. So I've been seeing a lot of OCG decks running two to three Mind Control or Brain Control. So, yeah, that's definitely something different. Uh, switch around with those two cards where it's like, Mind Control's always been fine. That's at one. And Brain Control, not the card's banned. And now it's like, Brain Control's at three, but Mind Control, that's starting to be an issue. So... Uh, yeah, just to get how interesting a simple errata change and, you know, just how rulings in the game evolves. So, uh, there you go, people. There is OCG's new updated list. Overall, it's not a terrible list. They definitely did address the problems that need to be addressed with concerning their meta and, uh, let up a lot of liberal things just like who you expect, you know. Uh, their list is definitely made bigger than our past two lists combined, but hey, you know, uh, like I said, TCG did state that we were going to be getting a list no earlier than August, somewhere around August to September, around that time, right after World. So, you know what? I'm glad that TCG actually told us something, and that list should probably be the big list because of course that list will be the list the list for our uh step into the link format i believe we start link format around the end of july july 22nd so that will be that list to go ahead and uh see how the link is doing it for at least a month or two and then kind of clean up and scrub down things from world and from uh you know the previous format to prepare for this new evolved link format so yeah so anyway there you go people there is my reaction or whatever to overview of the OCG's uh, July 1st ban list. So in the comment section below, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I said I'm using OBS to record this, so hopefully uh, it went right um, looking at my statistics and my CPU. I'm at like 1.3% with all my internet times open. Like I said, I have a beast of computer, everything is fine. And of course, this isn't too taxing. It's not like I'm playing a game or anything. So hopefully uh, when it comes to recording things that need to record the screen, I can record OBS and, you know, I just use Camtasia for editing. So simple as that. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. I really do appreciate it. That my life has been so busy and so hectic, but still, I'm able to get out content for you guys. So, if you guys haven't already, make sure to uh, hit that like button, subscribe button, bell for notifications. Of course, I'll be back for more, uh, you know, bandless related videos whenever they pop up. TCG, OCG, and of course, bandless prediction. Now, since we know when we have a general time when the TCG bandless will come, I can actually do a bandless prediction instead of just surprise, here's the bandless. So, look forward to that. And, uh, you know, more Yu-Gi-Oh! related content on this channel. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.